when you look at and you think about accessibility, think text. Because Googlebot is able to see text and process that, enabling us to then index it. So when someone searches for a particular term or a phrase, they're looking for a restaurant, they're looking for information on a particular city, they type in that restaurant name or a bit about that city, and accessibility means that the Googlebot can grab and understand that text, make it available to us to index, and then we can show that information, we can show that pages to users. Accessibility also has to deal with being able to see and interact with websites using different browsers. For instance, uh, historically people thought of browsers as just something that sits on your PC or your Macintosh. But more and more, people are now accessing websites on their iPhone, on their Blackberry. They're accessing the websites on a train with perhaps a low, a low bandwidth or high uh, latency. So as people access websites in different ways and have different needs, even different abilities, perhaps they're sight impaired and they're using a screen reader that reads out the text, it becomes more and more important for webmasters to focus on text. Now that doesn't mean to avoid pictures and videos and flash. All that stuff is great. Think of it as color. It really augments the website. It decorates. It adds a bit of flair. But your navigation and your descriptions should really be focused and primarily based with text. Flash has been a challenge. In fact, rich media has been a challenge for webmasters for quite a while. Uh, there's this oftentimes a tension between making sites beautiful, making them interactive, mm -hmm. and also making them accessible. And so one of the strongest things we've been working on in, in the outreach team here is how you can have both. So for years now, we've been aiming to be able to understand what's inside Flash better and better. What's the text? What is it saying? What are the links? What is it pointing to? It's been a challenge, though, because oftentimes things that are placed within Flash are images or image-based. And right now, Googlebot has a lot of problems understanding images. It can see, ah, this is an image, this is a movie, this is an animation, but it can't or has not historically been able to understand what's that, what, what that is about. Uh, with this new announcement, this new partnership with Adobe, we're moving forward and being able to better understand what is inside Flash so we can understand the text better, we can understand the links better, so that when a website does feature a lot of Flash content, we should be able to better say, aha, this is what this is about. So when a webmaster searches on a particular topic, searches for a particular phrase, we're going to be more likely to be able to find that page, that site, even if that content is within Flash. Now, with that said, I do want to uh, have a little bit of a caveat, a bit of a warning. We're getting better and better, certainly with the help of Adobe. Uh, however, that doesn't mean to go hog wild and put all of your site into Flash if you haven't already done that. The best thing to do is still use Flash for augmentation, for engaging your users, but still focusing on text as the primary mechanism for communicating.